Hello everyone. Today we are going to read one, three, five. Help. The author is Kurali Manikavel. The illustrator is Sonal Gupta Vaswani, and the publisher is Pratham Books. So let's read one, three, five. Help. The coconut beetle loves to count. He is counting petals now. One, two, three, four, thump. So in this picture, can you see a coconut beetle? Do you know what that is? It is a type of insect. And this looks like an insect and he is holding a flower and he is counting petals. So he starts counting one, two, three, four and thump. What happened? Let's see. Ladybug, he shouts. Can you flip me over please? The ladybug pushes and huffs and puffs, but she can't flip the coconut beetle over. So what happened? The beetle has fallen on his back, has fallen upside down and he can't turn. He's fallen on his back and he's struggling. He can't turn back. And so he asks his friend Ladybug who is going past to help him. And the Ladybug pushes, right? See how big the coconut beetle is and how small the Ladybug is. It's going to be hard. Uh, so she pushes and pushes and pushes, but she can't flip him over. She can't turn him over. Cicadas she calls out. Three cicadas come to help. The coconut beetle counts his friends. One, two, three, four. Four is an even number. Four insects push and huff and puff. But they can't flip the coconut beetle over. One plus three is equal to four. So the ladybug calls out to these other insects. They are called cicadas and three of them come to help. And so three cicadas and one ladybug total four friends. And four is an even number. An even number is a number that can be divided by two with no remainder. It means that when you count up from two in twos, so two, four, six, eight, ten, these are all even numbers. And four of them push. The coconut beetle, they huff and puff. They are out of breath and they are trying to push, but they can't flip the coconut beetle over. Lily moths calls the ladybug. Five lily moths come to help. The coconut beetle counts his friends. Nine of you to help me. Nine is an odd number. Nine insects push and huff and puff, but they can't flip the coconut beetle over. Four plus five is equal to nine. So then what happens? The ladybug calls 
this other type of insect. It is called a lily moth. And how many of them come to help? Five. And how many were already there? It was three cicadas and one ladybug. That's four. And five and four add up to nine. And all of them are trying to push the beetle over and it doesn't work. Nine this time is an odd number. An odd number is a number when you divide by two, it leaves a remainder of one. One is always left over. And odd numbers are when you count up from one by two each time. So one, three, five, seven, nine, eleven. These are all odd numbers. Seven jumping spiders come to help. Tuk, tuk, tuk. The coconut beetle counts his friends. Now there are 16, even number. 16 friends push and huff and puff, but they can't flip the coconut beetle over. Nine plus seven is equal to 16. So then what happens so far? How many do we have? Nine friends. And then seven spiders come to help. And when you count nine plus seven, it adds up to 16. And 16 is an even number. And they all push, push and puff the tired and they cannot turn the beetle over. And here they all are. Can you count how many insects are in this picture? There are so far 16 insects trying to push this coconut beetle over. Call the lace wings, shouts the ladybug. Nine lace wings come to help. Woohoo! That makes 25, says the tired coconut beetle. 25 is an odd number, shout the 25 friends. 16 plus 9 is equal to 25. So next what happens? So far there are 16 of them trying to help. And then the ladybug calls the lace wings. Lace wings are another type of insect. And 9 of them come to help. And 16 plus 9 is equal to a total of 25 and 25 is an odd number. Remember what we said? Odd number is when you count by twos up from one. So one, three, five, seven, and so on until 25. They are all odd numbers. When you divide an odd number by two, there is always one left over. And here they all are huffing and puffing and pushing the beetle over. Still not succeeding. 25 friends push and huff and puff and flip. At last, they flip over the coconut beetle. So finally, what happened? Finally, these 25 friends succeed in pushing the beetle back on its legs. And here he is. He is now finally happy. Even numbers 
end with any one of these digits. 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8. Odd numbers end with any one of these digits. 1, 3, 5, 7 or 9. So even numbers end with any one of these digits, these numbers. So if you want to find out if a number is even, then you don't want to keep counting up until that number, right? By two, uh, it's a, it, it'll take a really long time. And so let's say you have a number 100. 100 ends with the digit zero. So that means it is an even number. How about 1,608? That number ends with the digit eight. So it is also an even number. Similarly, if you have an odd number, it will always end with one of these digits. One, three, five, seven, or nine. So if you want to see if two, one, three is odd, it ends in the digit three, and so it is odd. Count the number of odd things and even things on this page. Do you get an even number or an odd number when you add them? Odd number plus even number is equal to even number plus even number is equal to odd number plus odd number is equal to try counting the number of similar insects on this page how many cicadas do you see how many butterflies how many roses and when you count them do you get odd number or even number and what do you get when you add two odd numbers or two even numbers or an odd number and an even number i hope you enjoyed this story thank you the difficult words in this story are coconut beetle Ladybug, Cicada, Lily Moth, Lace Wing. Try these questions. Write down some odd numbers and even numbers that are greater than 100. Is 87 an odd or even number when you add it with 73 would you get an odd number or even number try to answer this without adding them and explain your answer <laughs>